us walk together here. Bring me in, bring me in, and let us love together here. As you can see, I'm sitting here in a garden. This is the garden of Haven, one of Cross reaches units in the east end of the city of Glasgow. We're actually just sitting in the shadow of Celtic Football Park, if that places it for you. Delmarnock we are, Springfield Road. Kirkhaven is um, a 14 bedded unit. It provides accommodation and social care and support for men and for women, single uh, people aged between 18 and 65, people who are homeless and people who have quite challenging stories to tell. We've been hearing some of the stories, some of the success stories from uh, Duncan, uh, from Helen. Helen's been showing us some of her crochet work. You'll maybe see that in a video as well. Uh, but we've also been hearing about when things don't work so well. Staff are very good at getting alongside, uh, really in a very non-judgmental way, trying to support people, trying to, to take them from where they are to where they would like to get to, uh, to perhaps um, establish relationships again with their family, with their friends, um, perhaps being able to, to find their own place to live. Um, it's been very impressive to be here today and it's been quite hard. There have been some quite challenging stories to listen to. But uh, whereas people were once down and once felt they were out with the support of the staff here, they're a long way from being down and they're certainly a long way from being out. I suppose Kirkhaven means a lot of different things to each one of us and we've all got different roles to play in Kirkhaven, um, myself being a manager and both of you being support workers, we're doing different roles within the team mm -hmm. and I know it's really important we all work together as a team at Kirkhaven um, to ensure that the ethos of the church is, you know, is, is, is spoken about, is, mm -hmm. is, you know, is something that we look at within the organisation, mm -hmm. within the service, but I suppose the support we give services is really important as well. And I think Kirkhaven, it's that collaboration between ourselves and other organisations you know, when we when we come together, there's that synergy where, um, you know, we're, we're, we want to support the guys as, as, as best we can, assist, you know, with doctor's appointments mm -hmm. and, you know, but at the same time, remembering that personalisation aspect, we, we don't want to create an environment of dependency, no. you know, we want to, you know, skill the guys and school the guys, so when they're ready to leave Kirkhaven, they've got good life skills right. that they can take out into their, their, own, their own place. Oh, they're, feeling, sure. they're feeling medically stable to move yeah. on in life. Yeah, well, that, that's another thing when, when people come into Kirkhaven, they seem to have uh, come through the, the network and they've maybe skipped, they've had learning difficulties, mm -hmm. they've had uh, uh, brain injury, maybe in the past be fighting or whatever, or been assaulted. And uh, we get, they come in here, we try to get them those services, psychiatrists. To regain their skills to, again. To get yeah, them up, yeah. and maybe yeah. even the medication yeah. they're, they're, they're looking for, you know, and, yeah. and that's happened quite a lot, and they, they've got a bit of stability there. Mm -hmm. But right now, I can make the next move. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, no. no yeah. Yeah. I found that quite a lot quite of the rewarding. time. Aye. Mm -hmm. And it, just to get them to that place, you know. Um, I think to see somebody move on in life, is, it makes you feel so good as well, yeah. you know, when somebody's got to a point and, and they stay here, that they feel that they've, they've, they've regained their health, mm -hmm. they've regained the skills that they've lost mm -hmm. um, and they've, they've, come, they've come to um, a point in their life where they do want to move on in their life, they want their independence, they want to have a house, they want to come back into society, mm -hmm. you know, and be part of society again, I think that's really rewarding to see mm -hmm. that. Right, aye, it'd be, be aye, for sure. Uh, I mean, you, you just we spoke to one of our ex-service users now, a volunteer, and uh, you see what's happened to him and the support the outside. The confidence he's got. Mm -hmm. he's, he comes in and, he, and, he, and he's actually here now volunteering. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if, if service, you can get maybe some of your the service users that can build that trust up to, look, this is what's, this is what's here for you. Mm -hmm. You can do that too. Mm -hmm and uh, give them that support. Use the facilities that we've got, use the skills we've got, yep. use the staff knowledge that we've got to yep. support you to get through that time. And I think one of the things that really pleased me when I had a service user coming to me saying how safe they felt within the building and they were having a crisis with their mental health at the time and you know I think we were both working that night and that person we gave them so much support and we made so many phone calls to that person to get them support they required and I remember them saying to me later on that night they were really grateful and thankful um, to the staff and um, to the support they had received from ourselves and from other agencies. And that really made me feel good to think that, you know, we, we were support, we were mm. doing we're positive things in people's lives um, to make them feel encouraged and safe um, where they lived. 